Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody emailed me asking how to put the line and distribute up into the menu bar. The problem is with that, you can get so much stuff up here, like I've already got my smoothing tool and my virtual segment delete key and the Corel stuff and Snap2, and I've got my nudge distance always there. And if you don't have that, that's fine. You can very easily go to object and well, you actually got to go to tools, customization, commands, grab that right there, align and distribute, hold down the alt in the key and move it around, hit OK. And then you can actually place this somewhere up in your menu bar and your task bar. But a lot of times you'll have trouble finding a new spot and I've got it, but uh, I don't really understand this. I've run out of room. I'm gonna actually email my mentor and figure that out here in a second. But it's always there, and if you just, there's your uh, align and distribute Docker. But really and truly, this would be a great hotkey. And we're gonna go to tools, customization, commands, align and distribute, and go hotkeys. And you can see it's control, shift, A, which is pretty easy because they're all three right there. But if you want to make it something easier, like AD, just hold down the A and the D at the first time, at the same time, hit assign, hit OK. Then when you want a line and distribute AD, there's your line and distribute Docker. Of course, it's all highlighted or grayed out because there's nothing to or align. And this is you know, putting them in the center, putting them to the left, which are common keystrokes, but this does a lot more with the distribute. You know, you can have them evenly spaced out from the bottom, from the center. So it's a really neat tool, but it is very easily just hit the AD key and it comes up. That's my suggestion. Instead of cluttering up your menu bar, your task bar with uh, icons and you know, there's ways to get around this. And here's like, you know, you can turn that on and off. But I really like making hotkeys. To me, they're a lot easier. And it's easy to remember A and D. Because you're not in text mode, the letter A and D aren't going to write a text. They're not going to start typing. You don't even have to. You've kind of got to press them at the same time, but... You know, it doesn't, doesn't matter if you press the A a little bit harder or the D a little bit quicker. They'll come up. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.